Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we will be working on the confirm order activity. Now before I proceed, uh, let me tell you there is one person who asked in the comment section that is he wants that the total price must display here whenever we come to this activity, I mean to the cart activity. So it is very simple, I mean here you can see in the previous tutorial whenever the user click on this next button and you are displaying the total price and also in the next activity we display that total price on a test message so all you're going to need is to go to the cart activity and here on our cart activity uh, here we, you can see we have this uh, click listener which is next process button dot set on click listener you can just cut this line of code here you can see we are displaying the total price here uh, on whenever user click on that all you're going to need is to cut this line of code you can either uh, paste it inside this one create method here down below or also you can just pass that code uh, that line of code here okay so whenever the user comes to this activity i mean to the cart okay so it will display the uh, total pro total amount for the overall products if there is any product in the cart okay here at the top so this is totally up to you i mean this is a very simple thing you can do it by your own self I will just go with the same way. I mean, here on when a user click on the next button, I just like this way, okay? So this is totally up to you, as I told you, whatever you like. Now let's go to the confirm order activity, and here we can now set a click listener on this confirm order button. So we can simply say confirm order button dot set on click listener. and in here first of all first we have to check that is the form must be filled okay i mean all the fields which are these so to do that we can simply create a method by the name check or you can give any name you want i mean to this check method and let's create this method in our confirm final order activity and now in here we can say if text utls dot is empty so first we can say name phone address and city so the first one is name so we can say name edit text dot get text dot to string so if this is empty we are going to tell the user please provide your full name that is the name by which the user will receive this uh, order and now let's copy paste this you can say else and then paste that the next one is the phone phone text and we can say please provide your phone number so that the company owner or you can say the admin can contact that user once the admin see that when th this user wants with these such kind of products okay i hope you understand this i mean this is for the shipment the phone number and then the next one is the address that is on which address the company is going to send this product to the user so we can say please provide your address and the next one is the uh, city so you can change this to city please provide your city name that's it and now if everything is okay and in the else statement we can write code for that so that will be confirm order so let's create this method now and inside this method we need to get the date and time that is on which date the user confirmed this order so that we can tell the user that is within one day you will receive or within 24 hours you will receive your order at your doorstep i mean the admin or you can say the company so let's go to the product details activity and here i think we wrote the code yes here it is this is for the date and this is for the time so let's copy this code from here go back to the confirm final order activity and paste that code here which is for the uh, date and time and let's also initialize these two variables here which is string 
the first one is safe current date the other one is safe current time that's it and it must be final because we will be needing it later on maybe so final is good okay final and yeah let's create a reference to our database so you can say database reference and this uh, now we are going to create another child inside our database firebase database so you can give it a name as order reference equals to firebase database get instance dot get reference dot child dot get instance dot child sorry for that and that name will be that node i mean the name of that node will be orders hash map string comma object orders map equals to new hash map and before i proceed i mean before we proceed here we need to extend this and we are going to get the current user also so that we can say prevalent dot current online user dot get phone so yeah and let's go to the product details activity let's for the time saving we are just going to copy paste this and we will change the uh, values of it for this hash map okay so we have this order map let's address this so the final uh, for the final order we need to pass the total amount okay the overall total amount which we are retrieving from the uh, previous activity here at the top you can see this total amount and now we can simply instead of this we can simply say total amount the next one is the username okay so to get the username uh, you can simply give this name i mean the key will be name and to get the name we can simply say name edit text dot get text dot to string then after comes the phone or number of that user so you can say phone and here we need to pass the phone edit text dot get text dot to string then date time then the address and city let's remove this okay and we need to we have name phone and then the other one will be the address and city address and this one is city and make sure to remove this and here we can now change it so this one is the address edit text and this one is the city edit text so yeah that's it and then that and time and also here we need to pass the uh, state okay the state of the shipment so we can say order map dot put and we can just give it a name as state comma and the first i mean the initial state will be uh, not shipped because the admin will approve this order i mean by contacting with this user and once it is approved then we will change the this state to the shipped state okay which will be the shipping state basically so this will basically this uh, value will basically play a very important role in the upcoming video tutorials when we will be working on the admin section and within the next uh, 7 to 8 video tutorials we will complete this app so we can say order reference dot update children pass the orders map to it dot add on complete listener new on complete uh, listener make sure to put a semicolon here and in here we can save task that is successful now what we need to do here i mean if uh, the task is successful so we here you can see we have the admin view which is for the admin and we have a user view so once the user confirm the orders here you can see which is inside we have inside the cart we have three products okay you can see this so once the uh, user confirm the order we must empty the cart okay i mean which are these products if i show you okay for now it is three so we must empty the cart after that and we have to uh, apply some validations for that also so what we are going to do is now to remove this i mean from i mean we have to empty the cart for that we can simply say 
firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child child is the cart list dot child under that we have another which is the user view dot child prevalent dot current online user dot get phone dot remove value so if I show you we have a cart list which is this one and then we have this user view then the phone and then the products I mean we are removing this overall products node okay which will basically empty this cart so yeah this is so simple so let's add a add on complete listener so that we can notify the user also that is the cart is I mean your order is placed successfully in final order basically so let's uh, display a toast message we can tell the user that is your final order has been placed successfully that's it and now we are going to send the user to the home activity so let's go to the product details activity and copy this intent code from here and now we can pass that here and uh, change this to confirm final order activity and the next thing is we can add the intent dot add flag intent so that the user cannot come back to this activity again flag activity flag activity clear task which is this one space then this pipe sign intent dot flag activity clear task make sure to put a semicolon and then start activity and then we have to finish it so yeah that's it now let's run the app to see how it works so the app is running now successfully and now let's go to the cart and these are all our products and 2030 is the total price here you can also see this now let's come and let's first click on confirm button here you can see please provide your full name so I mean we have to fill all this form so I can simply type my name Mohammed Ali then the phone number then home address now uh, here we are again I mean uh, also we once uh, we already have the username and the address in the database under the user node but the reason here we again ask the user is basically the uh, confirmation okay that is let's say a user want to purchase something for their friends so here the user will simply type his friend name I mean let's say I'm going to purchase a product for my friend as a gift so I can simply type here the name of my friend then his phone number his address and uh, the company will send the product to my friend uh, home let's say the birthday gift for my friend so yeah Washington DC let's say U uh, USA and here we can simply say Washington and now you can simply click on confirm your final order has been placed successfully if you go to the cart you can see the cart is empty now and now if we click on next and here you can see it is zero but we have to add some validation for this one I mean once the user places the order then this button must not be enabled in the case if there are no products on the cart activity okay so we will be working on that but for now we just place the order successfully if we go to the firebase database then here you can see from the cart list the user view node is deleted successfully which means the cart is empty now and here we have this new parent node which is orders if I uh, expand it here you can see this is my phone number and this is the information for the final order total amount $2030 time state is not shipped 
and the phone number name date city and address so yeah that's it for this video i mean this is working incredible so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now